you, or you can call me Pim. I'm from class BF. Today, I'll tell you a story about an extraordinary egg. On the Pebble Island, there live three frogs, Marilyn, August, and one who was always somewhere else. name was Jessica. Jessica was full of wonder. She would go on long walk, way to other side of the Pebble Island, and return at the end of the day, shouting, look what they found. And even if it was nothing but a little ordinary pebbles, she would say, isn't it extraordinary? But Marilyn and August were never impressed. One day, in a mound of stone, she found one that stood out from all others. It was perfect, round like a full moon on the midsummer night, and white like a snow. Even if it was as big as she was, Jessica decided to bring it home. I wonder what Marilyn and August will say when they see this. She thought as she rolled the beautiful stone to the inlet where three of them live. Look what they found! She shouted triumphantly. A huge pebble! A huge pebble! That was a huge pebble, said Marilyn, who knew everything about everything. It's an egg! A chicken egg! A chicken egg? How do you know it's a chicken egg? said Jessica, who never even heard about chicken. Marilyn smiled and said, there is something you just know. After a few days later, the frogs heard a strange noise coming from an egg. They watched in amazement as the egg cracked and out a long, scaly creature that walked on four legs. <laughs> See? exclaimed Marilyn. I was right. It's a chicken. A chicken! They all shout. The chicken took a deep breath, grunted, and gave each of Astonish frogs a look said in a small raspy voice, Where is the water? Straight ahead, cried out the flock excitedly. The chicken threw herself into the water, and the frogs laughing after her. To their surprise, the chicken was a good swimmer and fast too. She showed the new way to paddle and float. One day, when Jessica was somewhere else, Marilyn and Orca saw a commotion in the water below them. Someone was in trouble. Quickly, the chicken, the chicken dove into the dark pool. Marilyn and Orca were frightened. After a few long moments, the chicken reappeared carrying Jessica. <coughs> I'm alright, she called. I was tangled in the weeds, but the chicken saved me. <sighs> From that day on, Jessica and her rescuer were inseparable friends. Wherever Jessica went, the chicken went too. They went, they traveled all over the island. They went, they went to Jessica's secret digging places and to the great pebble monument. One day, they went to a place that Jessica had never been before. The red and blue bird flew down from the tree. Oh, there you are! It's a clam on its own little chicken. Your mother has been looking all over for you. Come, I'll take you to her. 
they followed the blading bluebird. They followed the blading bluebird for a long time. They walked and they walked. They walked under the warm sun and the cool moon. And then they had they saw the most extraordinary creation that they had ever seen. It was asleep, but when it hear the little chicken shout, Mother! It slowly opened one eye and and smiled and was smile, said in the voice as gentle as whispering grass. Come here, my sweet little alligator. The little chicken climbed happily to her mother's nose. Now it's time for me to go, said Jessica. I will miss you, little chicken. Come and see us soon and bring your mother too. Jessica couldn't wait to tell Melly and August what had happened. As she neared the inlet, she shouted, Guess what I found? And she told them all about it. And do you know what the mother chicken called her baby? She called her baby my sweet little alligator. Alligator? Merlin said. It was a silly thing to say, and three of them cannot stop laughing. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Okay.